All right, so as you just seen, uh, there's a couple more trees down. So that is all the aftermath from that huge windstorm that we had. It lasted almost three days. So now our worry is to make it up to the off-grid property to see how many trees are down there, make sure nothing has been damaged. So that's that. And apparently, there's Yana. Yeah. Really? My goodness. You want to talk? All right, sweetie. Apparently, Rosianna has lots to say here. Are you all done? You done? Oh, and now JB, you're going to talk? Yeah? You all done? All right, all done. So, my goodness. Really? Okay, serious, serious stuff. She's, it's serious. Anyway, so because we're going to go there first thing tomorrow morning, we're just getting things ready. Um, so it is an area that has a lot of ticks. Yuck, I hate, despise ticks. They're gross, they're creepy. Anyways, so what we're going to do is um, we soak some, hope I'm saying it right, Prethium. Anyways, you soak it in cotton balls in a Ziploc bag overnight, and then you put them in uh, the toilet paper roll. You put that little cotton ball soaked in there, and then you put them in little areas um, hidden so that the mice, because they're going to get that cotton ball and they bring that back to their nest. And it doesn't do anything to the mice, but what it does is, because ticks usually travel or feed off of mice more than anything, so this way it kills off the ticks before... Anyways, that is the plan. So this is what we're doing. So we are sharpening the chainsaw, anticipating there's going to be trees down everywhere. Rosianna. All right. So like I was saying, we're going to use some cotton balls here. And then you just we're just going to soak it overnight get the better here. How do you pronounce it? The Prethium? Prethium. Prethium. All right. So that's what we're going to do. How many are we going to do? I don't know. We'll do five or six. Okay. Oh, who's Yana? Seriously. Do you need a hand? No. Nope. You good? Yeah, so we're just gonna let that soak through overnight. And then do we have enough of those uh, toilet paper rolls? Okay, perfect. All right, so we're going to let that soak and uh, we will see you guys in the morning. What? All right, so we're off to the off-grid property. We're gonna go check things out, see what the wind has damaged, or if anything, I'm hoping nothing, that would be great. So, and as usual, we wanna make sure that we can even make it up there because the last, uh, we got rain and they got snow. So who knows? Another adventure. So yeah, that's what we're doing this morning. And uh, here we go. Well, there's definitely a lot more snow here. A lot more snow, especially down there, up coming uphill. All 
All right, so we made it out. Um, definitely, I don't think they got that same windstorm as we did, because it's about an hour away, so it, it is different. The weather's a bit different. Clearly, they got, they, we got way more snow up here, a lot more. Yeah, everything looks good. I don't think they got that same windstorm as we got. What do you think? I'm not really seeing any trees down. Yeah, I'm very happy about that. Doesn't look like... Doesn't look like they got that huge. It says that windstorm lasted almost three days for us. And trees are down everywhere. So... Hmm. That is A-OK. -okay. Very happy with that. Well, and that roof, solid. That's why it's there, just in case. Yeah, so our second trip, we made it out again. Definitely more snow, but uh, good stuff. All right, so the reason why we really come up here is to set these guys. So we're just gonna put those cotton balls into Paper toilet rolls, reuse, recycle. So yeah, so we're gonna put them in uh, areas where it's kind of hidden underneath where we would think mice would go. And uh, hopefully it takes care of the tick population. I even noticed last summer, the tick weren't as bad. So we did it last spring, or I should say Derek did it last spring. And it helped. Yep. Yeah, it did. And we know that this is a very bad tick area and uh, I despise ticks. They're icky, very icky. All right, so now where do you want to set those? Um, in these little brush piles. Maybe a couple up in that brush pile, okay. a couple over here, and then maybe down by the, the old building there. The old building, okay, by the outhouse. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're gonna try every time we come up we'll just keep trying to uh, keep adding more just, it's not gonna hurt and if it kills all the tick I'm in And then you said we're going to put where the old building and the outhouse down there? Yeah. Okay. The what? There's a glass jar here. Oh, good. Glass jar. Perfect. Yeah, yeah so what do you think this building was for? It was a sauna. It was a sauna. Oh, so when I was talking to the original owners and she kept saying, is the sauna still up? And I'm like, I'm not sure which one. So this would be it. Okay. Yes, because uh, the original owner mentioned that she's got pictures that she's going to share with us. Share, as in she said that she was going to give them to me. So that uh, when we build the barn, I want to do a big pic collage and just have all the original photos. Because there's, there's only been just one, family. one family that's ever lived here. Just one. Nobody else. We are the, the second owners of this property so we want to keep it well we're not going to keep it all original but we're not the second owners we're the it's always been in one family one family yeah. well yeah because no it belonged to the the one that we got it from it was their parents yes and there was nobody else yeah. so anyways they're going to give us pictures and show us where the farm was and just pictures of their family so we want to do a pick collage and put it in the in the new barn just to to keep all that history with it so, so this was the sauna. All right. Well, it needs work. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, how old is it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe probably late 50s. So 
so in the it was built in the 50s probably yeah. so then like 75 years old yeah about 75 years old so well i mean it's still standing not the back half, we <laughs> not the back half. we're just gonna look at the front half the back half is not standing <laughs> All right, so we got one more to go set up. We're going to set it on the other side of the camper because obviously coming back and forth here is going to be our, our most walked area as Derek is checking out the tracks. But uh, yeah, so this is going to be the most walked area. I don't want ticks. So then on the next video, we will share with everyone what we're planning on doing over there. And then over there. That's next video. And of course, every trip we come here, we reset. Because unfortunately, we have trespassers all the time. And I don't know why people disrespect, but they do. I know everyone has the problem. We're not the only ones. It's everywhere. It's all the YouTubers. It's just, yeah. Anyway. So we have one more tick thing to put out. We have one more to do. And, uh, and then I think that's it for today. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, because our goal was to get uh, that stuff out. Because this is a time of year that the ticks do come out. And uh, yuck. I'm sure I've mentioned more than once I hate tick. Because once you start thinking about it, you start getting itchy. And they're gross. And they carry Lyme disease or possibility of Lyme disease. So anyway, so we're going to finish that up. Derek is going to change batteries, put a new SD card in the camera of many cameras. And uh, yeah, so that will be it for today. Um, I'm glad that we're able to come out. No trees have fallen anywhere, which we brought chainsaws just in case, but maybe that's why there was no trees because we're ready. <laughs> maybe right so okay so I think that's it for today yeah we're gonna finish this up it's a wrap for this this trip and uh, we'll see you on the next one everyone take care <laughs>